So let's move to our next category. This one we're gonna talk about max cushion shoes. We've had some fun debates within our chats about what makes something max cushion. Shoes that popped into their head regarding what they define as max cushion. I just categorically wasn't putting that shoe in as consideration. So um, these are shoes that we have different definitions for. So I'm not even gonna try to define this category, but uh, let's just talk about the max cushion and, and what we think. And Matt, we'll kick it off with you. Yeah, the other the other challenge I have to add to this is that so many shoes, even daily trainers, are now at that maximal stack height. Like even it's the Nova Plus, right? It's got a 38 millimeter heel, 30 millimeter forefoot. It's like, well, technically we're starting to get into maximal stuff. So that's why these categories are starting to blend. But for variety, I'm gonna say that this shoe that I'm about ready to bring up is one of my favorite shoes of the year in terms of just overall training. But I decided to go, hey, let's actually give it its own category and have a little variety there. But for my maximalist shoe of the year, it is the New Balance Fresh Foam More V4. And it's kind of funny that previous Moors I was not impressed with. I was like, okay. And this just came a total redo super nice, extremely stable, phenomenal sidewalls. Kudos to the individuals and designers and developers at New Balance for making a maximal shoe that wasn't crazy bouncy, but it's just smooth. It's got just the right amount of cushioning. It's a little bit wider too. The toe guard took just a second to break in, but once it did, I had plenty of room up front without being sloppy. So everything was done just right. And again, I've got over a hundred miles in these and I was not able, I got some wear here, but I could not tear through the outsole. So bonus points again for durability. It was a fun shoe just to go, I don't know what else to grab. I'm going to grab the more. Yeah, I, I'll just go next because I, for my maximal cushion shoe, I also chose the more V4. I think it's just that perfect. And, and so for me, categorically, when I think of a max cushion shoe, I think of a very, as David would say, a very cozy shoe. One that I can just pop on and just go like bop down the road and just feel very comfortable in and just feel very protected in. And I just feel like this this is a very soft running experience in the more V4. It looks like super high stack because of the sidewalls. It's not actually that high. If you take out the insole in the liner, I think it's only 34 millimeters in the heel. And I think it's a four millimeter drop. So, you, yes. you know, and with how soft it was, it almost becomes closer to a, uh, a zero drop shoe, but because of the flexibility in the forefoot, like despite like the, like it's still so flexible. Um, <laughs> so it just felt like it just moved around along really naturally while still feeling really soft and cushioned and protective so i love just bopping along in this shoe that's probably the best way i can describe what i can do in this shoe is bop along if i want to run 10 minute miles or slower i love throwing this shoe on if i want to get recovery miles in i love throwing this shoe on that's just where i go uh, when i think about max cushion shoes what do you got matt the other thing I have to say, it, just in terms of this has also been a really good shoe that I think success suggesting to some coworkers and patients for individuals that have to be on their feet or walking for long periods throughout the day, not necessarily running. I think mm -hmm. the rocker combined with having just a t that just enough flexibility with kind of stable neutral with a little wider fit has worked very, very well. Also for myself working in the hospital and just having this and being able to go, hey, I could be on my feet all day. It's been really nice, although for the hospital, especially inpatient I, I would not use white. I got lucky with that, but I would not <laughs> use the white version if I were you. Totally. Um, last couple other specs just to round this thing out. So it's coming in at 10.4 ounces. Again, it's got that 34 to 30 stack height, and it comes in at $150. Uh, what about you, David? What do you got for your max <laughs> max cushion pick? This is the one I just categorically did not put in my in contention for this one, but what do you got? Yeah, so when I think of maximum cushioning, I try to keep it relatively objective. Like if it's like over 35 millimeters of stack to me, like that's that's if it's got max cushioning, it's got max cushioning. There's 40 millimeters of foam underneath you. Like that's max cushioning. Um, with that said, I did pick the A6 Super Blast. And so for me, it's a versatile pick in the category. It's a fun shoe. I can run slow in it. I can run fast in it. I can I can even take it like in like dirt. Like it doesn't have to be like not necessarily like technical terrain, but like I can run like bluff trails and I can run some like in the little like woodland areas with like the wider, better footing. Like, I don't know, I can do it. Like I feel pretty nimble for the most part in the shoe and it's a shoe that works well for me. And I think like Klein was talking about it with the more V4, but I think they did a good job with the sidewall integration here as well. You feel very centered, the like platforms wide. 
the traction's decent enough, you know, it's for the most part, I'm able to do everything I want to do in the shoe. So it's a shoe mm-hmm. I like running in. And for a shoe that's over quote unquote 35 ish millimeters, you know, for me, <laughs> a like, lot more. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. Like if it's 45 millimeters of stack under your foot, like that's a maximum cushion shoe, in my opinion. I get it. Um, that might be an unpopular it. opinion. I don't know. But like, I, to me, that's max cushioning. It's funny I, of all the shoes that we've talked about that that this is actually the highest stack and also the lowest weight of all the yeah, shoes we've like, talked about it's so just, far. It's, really it's an absurd shoe. Like that's why for me it has to win the max cushion category. Yeah, but I, I, think I understand what you're saying though. Like uh, the Cloud Monster kind of was my pick, like pretty much the entire year up until yeah. getting the Super Blast, and yeah. that was like one of those things where it was like right before we had to make our decisions, and I'm like. Oh man, okay. I can't give it to the Cloud Monster. I, I like this shoe. This is a shoe that's just fun for that category. I think the hardest thing to consider with the Super Blast is just that price point. You know, like we get this shoe for free. Like that does change yeah. our percent. Like we don't feel the weight of spending two hundred and twenty dollars, and I think we get that. Um, so. Uh, You know, that's why we like to all pick our individual ones, because some people may be in a spot where getting a shoe that costs $220 isn't a big deal. For others, that's just not a feasible thing. And we we really like understand that and respect that. So, um, yeah, good. So we're going to move on to one. Do you have something else? Yeah, go ahead. Just a real quick question. You ever play Bop It as a kid? Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's where you got it. Cool. Bopping around. Bopping along. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, got it. Got it. Man, so you just like, you waited on that joke because I had. Yep. Oh, wow. On topic, well. I'd like to shout out the the New Balance. Uh, what was it? The SC Trainer was a very close one for Max Maxwell stuff. New Balance definitely put out some mm. great stuff this year. And yeah, that, much more affordable. What is that? 180 bucks. 180. 180. That's a, that is a, that. In terms of like price point, I'm surprised because I would have actually put that shoe at 200, 220. But yep, speaking of affordability, anyway, yeah, close. And, and I think I think what'll be interesting is TRE. The you know people have been in reporting on that and what they're doing with the changes. They're actually decreasing the stack height and making that shoe a little bit lighter, but keeping a lot of the characteristics. I think it'll be a fun shoe to check out for sure. For, the biggest thing for the, for the, the a little bit lighter. Board. I think it'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think just just so that if anybody from New Balance is listening, that's a special uh, BJ has a special place in his heart. And when he saw the updated version, he's a little terrified. So please, we got to make sure that shoe is consistent. I know you made some changes, but don't freak out, BJ. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, BJ, for those who don't know, is our audio engineer and he's listening.